Well, joining me now from Marlow in Buckinghamshire is branding expert Rita Clifton. Rita, very good afternoon to you. Uh, is good afternoon. Christmas is Christmas the still the time of year when these retailers really hike it all up? Uh, absolutely. I mean, this is silly season certainly for retailers, but. It's obviously deadly serious. I mean, they can make up to 40% of their revenue, their annual revenue at Christmas, uh, three quarters of their profit. I mean, this is a critical period and they need to absolutely everything they can to win over that period. So how does a, a retailer then cope with the, the, the scale of competition that there is uh, in a tablet online? Uh, if you go to the high street, you have to walk to different shops, don't you? They're all right there and I could click on Amazon just as easy as I could click on John Lewis. How do they make sure that theirs is the first click? Well, the very important thing is that people need to like your brand. They need to want to spend time with you. I mean, it's all very well for retailers, brands of all kinds to try and get people's attention. But I mean, people are bombarded by messages every day, online, offline, physical, virtual and so on. And in order to click or tap or like or share any of those things, people need to like and want your brand in the first place. That's why, you know, Christmas advertising is so important for retailers to engage people. I mean, Christmas is obviously an extraordinary event. It's loaded with emotion. And you know, retailers need to make sure that they are getting in on that share of emotion and making people feel that they want to spend time with their brand and absolutely buy from them, whether it's online, whether it's offline, at whatever time they choose. And I guess companies now, with all of the modern technology, are, are far, it's far easier for them to target the people that they know will spend with them. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you can tailor, you can target, you can go where people are, you can find affinity groups. Again, you know, you can connect with people 24-7. You can use a lot of geo-analysis, uh, social behaviour and so on to make sure that you're really targeting people at the right time in the right place. But again, no one is going to connect with you or click with you unless they feel that they want to welcome you in. I mean, you know, it's all very well to produce all these messages and of course mm. advertisers, retailers, brands, they all are producing these messages but you know, human beings are essentially the same deep down. We might be using many different devices but human beings are the same deep down with some common needs and wants and desires. And what that means is that they need to want to spend time with you. And what's more, they're not going to be able to stay awake for that much longer <laughs> to receive all this explosive content that's coming off the Internet and mobile devices and so on. They've got to want to be with you. That means that you want to connect with them in some part of their lives. And frankly, in the middle of the X Factor, which is what obviously uh, John Lewis is going to be doing this year, in the middle of the X Factor, you've got 10 million viewers, uh, those are people who are going to be experiencing uh, what you're communicating and hopefully loving the brand more as a result. And they might then want to receive your other messages. Yeah, Rita, what do you make of, of the John Lewis Christmas ad phenomenon? I mean, they have generated it themselves. It has become this almost uh, national yearly institution. It's so clever. Oh, it is very clever. But, of course, you know, doing show-stopping advertising at Christmas uh, has been going on uh, almost since commercial TV. If you remember, Woolworths used to be the king of you know, Christmas campaigns. And then we had Marks and Spencer taking over that crown. And now, of course, we have the John Lewis event. And it's not just the advertising itself. I mean, you know, they've got, they've got the social media campaign, they've got yeah. the soft toys, they've got a lot of opportunities for people to engage with them in other ways and really make the most of this advertising. They're trailing it, you know, on their own website. People want to see it in advance of, you know, the big event this evening. So it's a very you know, emotional, emotive ad, as indeed all of their advertising has been at Christmas over the last few years. But that's because it's appropriate for this time of year, a time of year when people come together, uh, they are together, they eat together, they spend time together, and, of course, they buy for each other as well for together too. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you have a nice Christmas, but that's the first time you've been wished that this year, isn't it? <laughs> Rita Clifton, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the tinsel out, thank you. <laughs>